Americans and U.S. citizens are both being constantly bombarded with propaganda, lies, smoke screens, distractions, and fake news. I make a point of defining two separate groups because the true Americans are not U.S. citizens. The United States is not a real physical country. It is a ruling government of the conqueror in place to keep the conquered natives and indigenous in check. But that's a whole nother topic that I can't go into in this video, but will in the next. Anyway, with the bombardment, bombardment of subliminal messages and white supremacy propaganda, we found ourselves view, viewing a scene ingrained in our heads from as far back as we can remember last night or yesterday evening during the so-called Thanksgiving Day football game. And it was the Cowboys versus the Redskins, a scene that we've all known since childhood as the Cowboy versus the Indian, a narrative they keep ever present in our consciousness as a reminder that the Cowboys were a fearless, gunslinging group of gentlemen who carved up America for the colonizers. But is this what really happened? Were the Cowboys really such a big deal? Did they really have all our wars with Indians? Was there really any beef between cowboys and Indians? Well, that's to be determined later. But for now, I would like to bring out facts about Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. I must state that I'm not a sports fan, nor do I have a favorite team. Without further ado, let's see who made these teams and why did they play on so-called Thanksgiving.